Hello, there's a big one. This is Super Mask. Welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Where in this episode, guess who we're gonna fight? We are going to go and fight Papyrus. Yeah, this episode is just gonna be mostly me fighting Papyrus, so let me just go. Human, allow me to tell you some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lava, the, amid the amidiration for another puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cold, smart person that you are cold. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like there to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Um, Papyrus, flirt. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Um, let's spare him. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my famed blue attack. So I think you're supposed to hold out as long as you can for this fight. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Do I have any arms by the way? No, I don't. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Pyrus steps some bone cologne behind his ear. Try holding the up bone to jump. Papyrus does no real source behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Papyrus does an empty brand bishy queen behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Papyrus Dead's empty brand enemy powder behind his ear. Does he even have ears? I can almost taste my future popularity. Yeah, my Papyrus voice needs to improve much more. Whoa! Papyrus Dead's empty brand cute juice behind his ear. Papyrus, head of the wrong guard! Whoa! Papyrus Dead's empty brand attraction sign behind his ear. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti. Papyrus, dead empty brand beauty yogi behind his ear. Undying will be really proud of me. Oh, you got these things. You're too awake. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. <laughs> right, I, I definitely need to uh, get some food. Yeah, I'm going to buy some food from the shop. You know, that's the library. Um, Grillbees.
Squirrel, Squirrel said that he offered you a grass wall, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Yeah, okay, not Grillbees. Um, let's try somewhere else. Maybe a shop will do. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Um, give me... Give me... Biscuit. Cinnamon bun. Biscuit. Cinnamon bun. That will do. Actually, wait. Oh, uh, so they they don't sell here. All right, now let's go and fight the pirates again. We're not stopping this. This has to keep going. As we go through the sand the snowstorm, why did I say sandstorm? Where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you have gotten lost. I'm sure it is a relief that you know to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. The pirates blocked the way. Uh, flirt. The pirates are typically fighting to flirt back. Le let's take later after I capture you. Do, do, do. I just think about what to wear for this day. What? I'm not thinking about that day thing. So basically what you just have to do for this fight is just basically just avoid Pyrus' attacks. Pyrus is thinking about what to cook for his day. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. I'm trying to stab some bone cone behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Ow. Oh. The pirate stabs monitoring a sauce behind his ear. Why do I say that not the pirate's voice? The pirate's hint of the royal guard. My pirate's voice definitely needs to improve. The Harry's dad slip into your brain bishy cream behind his ear. Papyrus! Unparalleled spaghetti! Okay. You ate one half of the biscuit, you become the living HP. Undyne will be really proud of me. Whoa! Papyrus dead seems to be cute juice behind his ear. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Ow. Ow. Papyrus dead seems to be treasure slung behind his ear. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Alright, take another one. Give me a seat. You ate the cinnamon bunny, your HP was next up. I have lots of Amaya, but... Pyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Will anyone as near as me as you? Okay, hang on a second, I just got a text. Pyro whispers near here. Here, here.
Anyway, let's get back to work. Someone like you is really rare. Ow. Pose whispers nah. <laughs> you eat one half of the biscuit, you cover the main HP. And dating might be kind of hard. Pyrus is considering his options. After you got captured and sent away. Ow. Pyrus is rattling his bones. Ah, who cares? Give up. Pyrus is rattling his bones. You, you eat the unicycle, you recover the main feet. Get up or face my special attack. Smells like bones. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. I always remember the bad joke Sans told in frowning. You eat the unicycle, you recover the main HP. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Pyrus is trying not to play it cool. This is your last chance before my special attack. Come on, we're almost there, come on. I can't lose this now. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Uh, Cinnabon, you eat the cinnamon bunny and your HP was made up. Behold, my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Price is getting ready to it. Sorry, here's an absolutely normal attack. Ow. Ow. Whoa. What the hell? Did that just say whoa, dude? Ay ay ay. Are you serious? Is that it? Wow. It's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Tough. Nah, nah, ho, ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date. And I already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cabin. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to require a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then you, us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, 
He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamwalk, can I please go home? Uh, he'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cold friend. Feel free to come by and have that day. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you just walk on the water? Papyrus. Oh, I gotta get back to this his place real quick. Which is his house again? I think this one. Oh! So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Um. Um. Where are we going? My house. Are you fucking kidding me? Nice place. Let's right, talk. Welcome to Sanic, my house. Enjoy and take your time. Oh, okay. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche. But filled with a sugary non egg substance. How absurd. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, pursue my colony art show. Half of the food is filled with containers all but labeled spaghetti, the other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting him to do that! Sans! Stop playing in my life with these- with incidental music! Can we actually come see Sans at the moment? The door is locked. God damn it, Sans, what are you doing in there anyway? That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yes. So, um, if you've seen everything, do what you want to start the date. Begin the date? Yes. Okay, date and start. Dating, start. Here we are, on our date. I actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. He's so shocked. Step one, press the C key on the keyboard for a dating card. <laughs> what is this? Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. R really? Wowie, his eyes are just so kawaii. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off you. You're wearing clothing right now? Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. His eyes are just so good. No, 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 your dating power. <laughs> Date power. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at Dayton, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You, you'll, you see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. 
Yeah, what do you think of my secret spell? Um, I love it. No. A genuine compliment. Oh, the date power's going up. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secrets. But that won't happen. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and... His symptoms. My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't no plain old pesa. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finally aged in an open cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Pirate. Human, it's time to end this. Therefore, there's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face relaxes these scrunches up. The taste is undescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to... I thought that because you flirted with me. That I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this that all now happens. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Patronicky. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Let's look around this room. He's got a car bed. It's a race car bed, neatly made. Action figures and mini sexy robots. It's a beat up pirate flag. The bookshelf is filled with complex toms about puzzle creation and children's books. The computer internet browser is open to a social media site. It's a box of bones. Look in the closet, yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Well, the virus is very house brown. Um, let's go back to the safe quick. Pirates must be really embarrassed about this. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Alright, we're gonna stop there. Alright, and that's it for this episode of Undertale. If you like the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe for more videos and for more Undertale. And until then, see you later!